much photos. Guys, clearly I have no shame because this is how awesome I look right now. This experience is insane. So I was supposed to go have breakfast this morning and we got in the car at 5.30 a.m. and I was so excited to have that meal. I didn't realize that nothing was open until 6.30. So we ended up going to McDonald's and I improvised. And now I just had to get my tan touched up because it was, I look like an alien because I messed it up a whole bunch. And now I'm getting my makeup done, but we're already like an hour behind, so cool. I was just on stage, now I'm having a rice cake. I have to get back on stage at 6 p.m. There's been a lot of sitting around waiting, eating. I competed in two classes. That was the beginner, new, novice class, as well as the overall everyone, which was about five or six women. I think I did pretty good, but Yay. just glad that I made it this far. So. See you tonight. Hello. So I actually didn't record a lot backstage because it really is. I know everybody says that, but it's so crazy back there. We were packed into rooms like sardines and it's not really fair to other competitors if you're filming and stuff because everyone's at a certain level of stress and anxiety and there's lots of touch-ups for tans and people are gluing their butts and it's just not you know somewhere you should film but I went out there did it and now basically the second show that I do tonight the 6 p.m. show is more for our friends and family the audience because the judges pick the winners already my coach thinks I did really well, but honestly, I'm just so happy that I'm almost there. <laughs> and just one more show to go. And of course, it's pouring rain outside. And I get to go eat a burger now, no bun, some french fries. I don't know the logic behind it, but my coach knows what's up, so trusting him. Just some things I maybe want to tell you that some people might not tell you about being in these competitions. The spray tan is a nightmare. It literally, my nightmare has repeated itself multiple times in the last two days in terms of having to get butt naked in front of strangers. This is like not something I'm comfortable with at all. And I've had to do it multiple times because I've had to get touch-ups because let me tell you, these spray tans are not durable. They melt off with sweat, with water, and you'd be surprised how difficult it is to pee and not get any pee on you. I know that sounds crazy and gross, and I thought the same thing, but you know like at hotels when they have the black light and you see all this shit everywhere? That's what spray tan is to people going to the bathroom, <laughs> which is so gross, but it's true. Skylar's getting a coffee. I still can't have coffee yet. I can't eat all that I want to. Very specific to the burger, so that's what we're going to go do. Okay guys, so I am so happy. We ended up having enough time because the show was running so smoothly to come back home. So now I'm like repacking because I won't need to take all of that stuff that I have back there. It's crazy. Now I just take what I need and I can leave everything else here. <sighs> Makes me so happy. As you see, I've sectioned off an area of my couch where I can actually eat and Skylar went and grabbed us some burgers and fries to have, so very exciting. I also wanted to say that I'm just so impressed by the women that were there. There were women in my class in the overall that were in their 40s, their 50s, and seriously goals. Like probably for me personally, not fitness competition goals. Like I hope I'm not doing this ever again. <laughs> Sorry, but just goals in general of just killing it because those women um, I was just shocked when they told me their ages because they just look phenomenal so awesome so I'm just a total weirdo and I'm so happy that I'm home so I can just organize all my stuff 
for later. And this is my Oompa Loompa crazy, it's like almost orange situation on my skin and I, I don't know how it's gonna come off but I will keep you guys posted on the post show what the f happens afterwards. I'm also not drinking any fluids right now. I get to have a little bit of uh, soda pop with my meal but other than that like I'm drying out still for tonight. It's wild. It's wild. See you guys in a bit. Just kidding. Also, my coach really wants me to like rest and nap and elevate my legs. I just have to laze around and eat a burger. It's not too bad. Hey guys, this is my post first show meal. I am a loser and cut up my hamburger. <laughs> into a salad and I get fries and I'm having root beer and it's gonna be the bomb the end <laughs> so we are back on the road and headed back to the venue my burger was pretty good but it's not like my top choice for food and same with the fries I did eat them all because I'm so hungry and I'm already eating some you can't really see what that is mm -hmm. yeah. I'm already eating some chicken and rice because I'm already hungry again because you know what guys that food is just empty useless calories that give you no actual energy source so don't eat it the it's truth. Just, it's just garbage I actually feel like really low energy because I ate that eating my chicken and rice and we're picking up my best friend Kim and then we're headed back to the venue to sit around and wait until I go out again Kim's here get in the shot there there you are oh, no, we're all so together white. Jesus I feel so orange. Yeah, like a Dorito, <laughs> a Chico. But we're on our way to the venue. Woo! Round two. How did round one go? Round one, my coach is really happy about it. I had to get my bottoms glued to my butt because oh, yes, of that whole that. situation. Th then I was the first one that had to go out and I'm novice category and they just basically had green tape on the stage and they just said, you walk over to the square, you have 15 seconds when you reach the square and then when you're done, you walk over to this far corner and stand there and then they'll tell you what to do from there. And I'm like, well, okay. Did Sky anyone? get to watch? Yep. How yes. was it? It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was oh, just so, so cool bumpy. to see. So my coach at the end of the day is happy and I just literally never have any idea what's going on. So there. tonight is the actual... The judges have pretty much made their decisions, but there is an opportunity for you to change their minds if you go out and really like With a bang. wow them. My coach did give me some um, posing tips to help me in my second round and also I've been eating food and sticking to somewhat of a diet still to maintain what going on. I haven't really drank fluids since yesterday. Except for I had a little bit of coffee this morning. Anyways, that's so it for now. Cool. Sorry.
kind of loud in here, but uh, I've already changed out of my suit. I, I'm going to pack up my stuff and I'm headed out of here. I'm going to go with my family and friends. I'm going to hammer back Gatorade because I am so dehydrated. So I ended up getting second in my novice class and third overall. Pretty good. An amazing experience. First meal. My body was like, boom, boom. Are you gonna sit here and not say anything? And I can like feel it in my body. Hey guys. So it is over. I am home now. Me and my friends went for Vietnamese food. I had a salad roll, a spring roll, and a chicken skewer, and I also had some turkey and rice. From one of my meals, <laughs> chocolate covered almonds, and chocolates. So, feeling a little stuffed, <laughs> but just ready to get back to regular old how I used to eat and live. And I'm about to go have a shower and have a total experiment now with the spray tan and if you've had a spray tan before and you know how to get it off please comment below because I have a feeling this is going to be an issue for the next little bit it's all over everything and it is like seven layers of it at this point because I had it retouched a million times throughout the weekend anyways just wanted to thank everyone for all of your support and following my journey and I hope that I was able to provide an honest perspective of an experience doing this. I'm happy to say that I still love eating healthy. I am actually more excited about eating vegetables and fruit than I am anything else right now. And I love the gym and I love lifting weights and I really was the most comfortable this weekend when I was pumping up before going on the stage and I was able to like lift some weights and use some bands in the back backstage area so I'm happy to say that my heart still loves fitness overall very fun no <laughs> lying overall huge learning experience so many amazing takeaways such an uplifting positive environment in terms of the women that I was around during the weekend and you know a lot of respect for the bodybuilding community <laughs> it's tough I hope that those of you that followed my journey, um, I want to take you on a new journey, which is how does one recover or, you know, go back into assimilating back into the a regular lifestyle because, you know, this was a very intense and regimented lifestyle for quite a while, 16 weeks, three month, three to four months. And you know, it's psychologically a very grueling process just as much as it is physically. And, you know, I lost a total of about 10 pounds, which for me on my frame is quite a bit. It's definitely the lightest I've ever been in my life, the leanest I've ever been in my life, in my adult life. And um, just the process of, you know, going back into a regular lifestyle adjusting into healthier eating habits, increasing calories, you know, adjusting to a different maybe relationship with the gym for a while, all that stuff. And so that's the next part of this journey. So I hope you want to follow me along and come along with me on that one. Um, and if you have any questions or any topics you want me to cover, also please just put them in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you want notifications of the next video and it helps me out as well hope we can you'll come along with me for this because this is all uncharted territory for me just as much as this experience was so here we go